Hello, good morning all of you. How are you all? Yes, you are all fine. And I am also fine. As you know, the COVID-19 disease is spreading all over our country. So, all should be very careful. Stay home. Stay safe. Okay? So, we discussed the lesson and uh, you have learned the lesson very carefully that I understood from your side question answers. Most of you have sent that. I am very happy to see that all answers. Okay, before going to the lesson, let me ask you one question. Where do we stop? Yes, the cobra and the mongoose, they fought each other and who won? Who won the fight? Huh? Cobra? Ah, no, no. Who won? Yes, the mongoose won and the mongoose killed the snake. And uh, while that fight was going on, where was our other? Ah, yes, he is on the tree. Yes, he was sitting on the uh, safe place. He made on the a tree, you know. Okay. Then, after that fight, what happened? This is the a conclusion part of this lesson. So all of you look at the textbook page number 13 let me complete the lesson today okay when i had also made a cautious descent from the tree and returned to the house i told grandfather of the fight i had seen he was pleased that the mongoose had won he had encouraged it to live in the garden, to keep away the snakes, and uh, fed it regularly with scraps of, from the kitchen. He had never tried uh, taming it, because wild mongoose was more useful than a domesticated one. Yes, what happened after that fight? Ah, when I had also made a cautious descent, descent means moving down. So after that fight, after seeing that fight of whom that mongoose and the snake or other who cautiously moved down or climbed down from the tree and uh, he returned to his house. And uh, he met whom his grandfather was there inside the house. And he told, he explained about that fight between whom uh, that mongoose and a snake. And uh, then what happened? I told the grandfather of the fight I had seen. Uh, he explained the fight between that mongoose and a snake to his grandfather. Uh, and then he was pleased. Ah, after hearing this explanation about that fight, who was pleased? Yes, grandfather had pleased. Pleased means he became very happy. Why? Why was he happy? Because ah, he heard, he understood that the mongoose had won in that fight. Ah, who won? That mongoose had won. Why did he say so? that he was happy. Why did he so, say so? Uh, why? Because if the cobra wins the fight means what will happen? He will be alive and he will be a threat to the family members, especially to the children. As you know, our boy is there. So if uh, at the same time, if the mongoose wins, you know, the mongoose will not attack 
human beings. It is not a problem. So that who was happy uh, that mm, mm, grandfather was very happy to hear that who had won uh, the mongoose had won the yes the fight. He had encouraged it to leave in the garden. Uh, he encouraged who encouraged the grandfather encouraged supported whom uh, that mongoose to live in that garden. He did not uh, uh, throw any stone or he did not try to attack that whom that mongoose. Why? To keep away the snakes. Uh, who uh, if the mongoose is alive, you know, it will keep away whom that uh, the snakes in that garden. So, he fed it regularly with the scrapes from the kitchen. Scrapes, scrapes means what? Uh, the small food particles will be there in the uh, kitchen. No? He used to take that uh, scrapes or uh, pieces of uh, food and uh, give to whom? That mangoes. And in that way, he encouraged whom? That mangoes to live in that garden. He had never tried taming it, uh, but the grandfather was very careful. He never tried to tame. Tame means uh, we are taming. We tame uh, horses, uh, elephants, uh, this type of what uh, animals, wild animals by catching uh, after catching from after bringing from the forest. We tame these type of animals, and they will obey us. After taming it, we will uh, they will obey us. They will obey their masters. But here, the grandfather had a chance to tame that whom that mongoose, but he never tamed it. If we give food to the food to the uh, this type of wild animals, you know, or, or once or twice we give, they will not accept. Then they will come and accept our food, and they will, and we can easily tame them. Okay, ah, uh, but then grandfather never tried to tame that whom that mongoose why because wild mongoose was more useful than a domesticated one uh, what was the reason uh, why because the wild one if we tame a, any animal uh, it will not be wild wild means uh, wild means they will not be sympathetic uh, they will attack they will have that wild character in their life so uh, if we if uh, the uh, if whom that grandfather tries to tame that mongoose means uh, he will may he may be tamed but at the same time sometimes he may not uh, go and attack whom that uh, snake in such a way that's why he never tried to tame it uh, because the wild one is useful than a domesticated one a domesticated one means a tamed one okay then from the banyan tree i often saw the mongoose patrolling the four corners of the garden and once i saw him with an egg in his mouth and knew he had seen in the poultry house but he hadn't harmed the birds and i knew grandma grandmother would give him for stealing as long as he kept the snakes away from the house Ah, then what from the banyan tree who ah, that boy had seen whom that mongoose patrolling 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 means ah, observing and walking he patrolling were the four corners of the garden ah, he patrolled whom ah, police also patrolling patrolling uh, not patrol this is patrolling p a t r o l l i n g means observing and uh, making sure that everything is fine that is what patrolling so uh, he used to this uh, mongoose used to patrol that ga that garden all corners of that garden and uh, once i saw him with an egg ah, once he had seen whom that uh, mongoose with egg from where did he get that egg it was from the poultry farm poultry farm means you know hens were there ah, hens uh, they laid uh, eggs uh, then this mongoose went and uh, took it who grandmother had seen the same but grandmother didn't attack or didn't complain to whom grandfather and tried to attack that 
mongoose. Why? Why? Because, but he hadn't harmed the birds because the mongoose didn't harm the, uh, didn't do anything on whom these uh, birds and hens or any, he just came and took the, uh, what, that eggs. And I, I knew grandmother would give, forgive him for stealing as long as he kept the snakes away from the house. Uh, and also this boy knew who uh, grandmother would never take a step against this mongoose. Why? Because uh, this mongoose only keeping away whom these um, snakes from that garden. That's why grandmother also knew this. So grandmother and grandfather never tried to keep away this whom that mongoose from that garden. Why? Because he kept that garden free from whom? Free from the snakes. Okay. Then the vinyan tree was also the setting for what we were to call the strange case of the grey squirrel and the white rat. Ah, here it is tell, going to tell about a uh, white rat and uh, grey squirrel. In the same name there is a, a novel written by our Ruskin Bond that we discussed in the uh, profile of him so here it is going to uh, tell about that story what is the story uh, the strange case of the gray squirrel and the white rat he is going to tell about that uh, gray squirrel and the white rat what was the story the white rat was grandfather's uh, the white rat was whom uh, grandfather's he had bought it from the bazaar for four annas Ah, uh, for ana means golden time. Uh, we used to uh, change. We used this type of anas. Means here what now? Uh, four anas means one rupee. Twenty-five paisa is there, no? That is what one ana. So he had bought it from the bazaar for four anas. But I would often take it with me into the roots and the branches of the old tree. Benin tree where it soon struck up a friendship with one of the squirrels. They would go off together on little excursions among the branches. So our boy is telling about another incident. What is that? Uh, he, his grandfather bought a white rat for four annas from the market and uh, he brought it home and uh, our boy he often took that uh, white rat to her to the banyan tree and uh, he used to, to climb that uh, white rat used to, to climb on the banyan tree and uh, and also uh, he made a friendship with whom uh, he made a friends with uh, one of the squirrels was lived in that garden okay then banyan tree where it soon struck up a friendship struck up means he made he made a, a friendship with uh, one of the squirrels they would go off together uh, these two members white rat and gray squirrel used to, to go off together on the excursions ah, excursions means a small journey what among the branches and then the squirrel started building a nest at first she tried building it in my pockets and when i went indoors and changed my clothes i would find straw and grass falling out then one day grandmother's knitting was missing he hunted for it everywhere but without success next day i saw something glinting in the hall in the banyan tree going up to investigate i saw that it was the end of grandmother's steel knitting needle on looking further i discovered that the hall was crammed with knitting and amongst the wool were 
three baby squirrels, all of them white. Uh, then what happened? Then the squirrel started building a nest. This uh, gray squirrel, male, was male, and the white rat, it was female. Uh, they made uh, friends. And uh, they used to go for uh, go for uh, small excursions. And uh, then what happened? Uh, after some days, after making friends with uh, that uh, gray squirrel, this squirrel started make building a nest. Started build a nest. At first, she tried building it in my pockets. Uh, then how did he try to uh, make? Or build, build what is nest. Where was it? Ah, first of all, it was in the pocket of whom our boy. She tried building it in my pockets, and when I went indoors and changed my clothes, I would find straw and grass falling out. Ah, for um, building nest, this squirrel brought what straw and grass from different. Uh, from uh, surroundings and put it in the uh, pocket of whom our boy and uh, when he go when he uh, reached at home when he changes his uh, cloth uh, he used to find straw and grass in his pocket why because uh, actually that squirrel was trying to uh, build a nest in his pocket because it was safe but you know uh, we uh, that boy uh, used to uh, change uh, then uh, because of that uh, what one day we will wear one dress so after that we will wash it so is it possible to uh, build a nest in the pocket no it is not a pos it is not possible so so that what happened every day uh, he used to find what this grass and uh, what uh, this type of uh, what things in his pocket which was uh, you brought by whom that squirrel so he failed in that all attempts for by for making bar for making nest in the pocket of whom that boy's boy's pocket okay he tried to make or big build we can say build build uh, nest in the pocket but he failed so he changed that what that uh, place then what happened then one day grandmother's knitting was missing uh, one day what uh, my grandmother's knitting knitting means what uh, materials uh, like what thread or cotton uh, this uh, knitting was missing uh, who grandmother keep kept what knitting in her home for what for uh, uh, what for sewing it was lost then what we hunted for it we hunted hunt means what we searched or here searching they searched uh, for this knitting everywhere but without success could they find no they couldn't find that knitting then next day i saw something glinting in the hall in the banyan tree uh, then next day this boy climbed on the banyan tree and he saw uh, something glinting glinting means what shining something shining in the hall or uh, uh, were in the banyan tree going up to investigate uh, he took a decision to investigate more about what is glinting what is shining inside that hall so when he uh, went up to investigate he saw that it was the end of the grandmother's steel knitting needle uh, knitting needle will be there no needle for knitting for saving what will be there uh, needle will be there no so that uh, knitting with what that needle was stolen by whom stolen by this uh, squirrel for what purpose now for what purpose for building the nest yes then i saw that it was the end of grandmother's steel knitting needle uh, what was lending uh, that steel needle was glinting shining uh, when the sun for sunrise falls on the uh, steel knitting uh, steel needle you know it will 
uh, shine so that was what shining so uh, there so he saw it on looking further uh, then he searched uh, by uh, going very close to that hall then what did he see now he discovered that the hall was crammed ah uh, crammed means filled with the knitting ah uh, that hall was uh, filled with filled nicely with what this knitting then and uh, amongst the whole wool were three baby squirrels all of them white ah uh, then uh, who uh, that knitting was torn by whom that squirrel why uh, for making his nest very soft one for what for whom uh, for her babies so that squirrel gave birth to whom gave birth to uh, three baby squirrels all of them were what white okay grandfather had never seen white squirrels before and we gazed at them in wonder ah uh, even whom uh, grandfather did not see such uh, white squirrels in his life so all of them were surprised to see this we were puzzled wondered for some time but when i mentioned the white rat's frequent visit to the tree grandfather told me that the rat must be the father ah uh, then what uh grandmother and grandfather after knowing this uh grandfather was also very uh very much wonder ah uh, why how how did it happen like like this ah uh, there is no chance for this i like that they uh, discussed it. but at that time the boy said explained about what the frequent visit of uh, visits of that uh, uh gray uh, squirrel gray, uh, gray squirrels nest by whom our white rat uh, then who understood uh, grandfather understood uh, then who will be the father mother is okay gray squirrel and who is a mother our white rat rats and squirrels were related to each other he said and so it was quite possible for them to have offspring in this case white squirrels uh, then who said uh grandfather said what no rats and squirrels were related to each other ah uh, they are uh naturally they are related same species so what happen ah uh, they will uh they will uh if they there is a chance for giving birth to whom uh new children by whom uh this squirrel so that what happened this uh father was white rat and uh, mother was whom yes our gray squirrel so there is possible by nature that is not a uh, wonder it is natural in our earth so and it was so quite possible for them to have offspring offspring means children so there is a chance for uh, giving birth to children uh, so in this case white squirrel so in this case when who uh, the gray squirrel gave birth to whom children or offspring ah uh, that was white squirrels okay so this is what our lesson have i got it so here the boy explained about that banyan tree and how he spent his afternoons on that banyan tree and uh, Uh, the main thing is what uh, two incidents are explained in this lesson one is the fight between cobra and uh, mongoose and second one is what that uh, relationship between whom white rat and uh, gray squirrel so this may be an essay for the fight between that uh, cobra and uh, mongoose one essay type question you can expect or else you can expect one question about that what the relation between this whom that gray squirrel and a white rat okay so learn this lesson very carefully read this lesson very carefully and uh, find out the remaining side question answers of this lesson and uh, study it very well okay we will see 
with a new lesson in the next class okay okay thank you all